Welcome to Tech Programming CSIT. Very good evening to all our viewers for joining with us. You all have connected with us through our YouTube channel. So welcome to today's session. In this video session we will talk about digital citizenship and literacy. How we can keep ourselves safe and secure in an online world. What do you mean by cyber security? What are the benefits and importance of cyber security? Next we will see what are the different type of cyber crimes and how we can avoid and stay away from the different type of cyber crimes okay so without wasting time let's get started so first of all let us understand what do you mean by digital citizenship digital citizenship refers to the ethical and the responsible use of technology such as respecting others privacy avoiding cyber bullying and protecting one's digital identity for example digital citizens do not share personal or sensitive information online without permission do not harass or threaten others online and do not use fake or stolen identities online next let us see what do you mean by digital literacy digital literacy refers to the ability to find evaluate create and communicate information using digital tools such as searching the web using social media and creating digital content for example digital literate users can use search engines effectively critically assess the credibility and reliability of online sources and produce original and quality content using various media formats digital citizenship and literacy are essential skills for navigating the online world safely and securely for example digital citizens and literate users can avoid for falling for fake news misinformation that can influence their opinions and decisions safety and security for an online world requires awareness of the potential risk and threats that exist online such as phishing malware hacking identity theft and online predators for example online users should be aware of suspicious emails or messages that ask for personal or financial information links or attachment that may contain viruses or spyware unauthorized access to their accounts or devices fraudulent transactions or meetings using their identity and strangers who may try to lure or harm them online safety and security for an online world also requires taking preventive measures to protect oneself and others from these risk and threats such as using strong passwords updating software enabling encryption and reporting abuse for example online users should create passwords that are long complex and unique for each account or service install the latest security updates and patches for their softwares and applications use secure connections and encryption tools to protect their data and communication and report any suspicious or illegal activity or content to the appropriate authorities or platforms safety and security for an online world are not only individual responsibilities but also collective ones everyone has a role to play in creating a safe and secure online environment for themselves and others for example online users should educate themselves and others about the best practices and guidelines for online safety and security support and help each other in case of any problems or incidents online and promote a culture of respect kindness and inclusion online what do you mean by cyber security Cyber security is made up of two words cyber and security meaning whatever is related to internet information technology computer network application or data whereas security is related to security which includes system security network security application and information security cyber security is a kind of security to keep our system secure which are connected to internet through this the data of hardware and software is made more secure so that the data does not get stolen in any way and all the documents and files remain safe so let us see how does cyber security works under cyber security there is a large team of ethical hackers who protect our data from theft data deletion or damage to any kind of to any of our devices those working in cyber security stop bad people from doing wrong things under this network under this your network computer system any program and our data are kept secure next let us see what is the need of cyber security why is cyber security necessary so first is cyber security is necessary to protect our personal data such as image pdf text document or any kind of data any type of data that remains in our computer cyber security is important to protect any of our data which contains 
personal data for example if you have a company only you have copyright on its data so it is important that no one steals or any other person is able to use it cyber security is also very important to provide security to our banking and financial data because if any of our banking data is not secure then any hacker can withdraw money from our bank account nowadays internet banking has become an essential part of our life that is why it is necessary to keep banking and financial data safe cyber security is also very important for national security national security means nowadays there are cyber attacks even in the defense system of our country there is some data or information which is very important and sensitive like nowadays most of our work in government offices is done through internet if the data of any government office gets leaked then it can also cause huge loss therefore cyber security is very important to keep this type of data safe so now let us see what are the different type of cyber crimes so first is hacking in this type of cyber crime hackers access the personal data and sensitive data of another person by entering the restricted area without the permission of that system the restricted area is someone's personal computer mobile or any other device next is cyber theft in this type of cyber crime the hacker violates the copyright law it is a part of cyber crime which means theft done through computer or internet it includes identity theft password theft theft of information or theft of internet time etc next is cyber stalking so this type of cyber crime is done this type of cyber crime is seen more in social media sites in this stalker harass harasses a person by repeatedly sending dirty messages or email in this stalker often make small children and people who do not have much knowledge of the internet their victims after this stalker blackmails the person which makes the person life very painful next is identity theft this type of cyber crime is seen a lot these days in this hackers target those people who use online cash transactions and banking services like google pay paytm phone pay etc hackers extract all the money of a person by obtaining information like account number debit card details internet banking details etc in some way due to which that person has to face a lot of financial loss next is malicious software so many such dangerous software are created by hackers so not only it can steal the data connected to computer or mobile but it can also delete as well with the help of these software hackers can control your entire system and your entire system can crash there are many type of these software like malware spyware virus ransomware and worms next is phishing it is a type of cyber threat a hacker sends a message or email to a person in a form of a trusted organization or bank which looks completely valid the purpose of the hacker behind this is to cause financial loss to the person by taking sensitive information like bank account number debit card aadhar card etc next is child pornography and abuse in this type of cyber crime hackers mostly use chat rooms and talk with controversy by hiding their identity small children or minors do not have knowledge and gradually hackers obstruct children for child pornography apart from this children are unable to tell anything to their parents due to fear next is swooping in this type of cyber attack using the identity of another person the hacker can attack a big server or system of a big company by restoring to this attack a hacker can ruin someone's life now let us see what are the benefits of cyber security with the help of cyber security we can remain safe from unauthorized access so that there will be no risk of any kind of data loss we can keep our network secure so that we can use the internet with a peace of mind a security shield is provided to your personal and sensitive data so that hackers cannot exploit your financially or mentally next point is information security improves and business management also improves nowadays online cash transactions are quite popular hence transaction can be done safely with cyber security now let us see what are the best ways to avoid cyber crime create a strong password for any of your account which includes upper case lower case and special characters keep your software updated especially your operating system and internet security software this can help prevent cyber criminals from exploiting be careful about what you share online and with whom you share don't provide your personal or financial information to strangers or untrusted sources 
avoid clicking on suspicious links or downloading files from unknown senders. I hope you like this video. Do give your valuable suggestions and write in the comment box on which topic you want us to make video. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video.